We have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves in each other. My name is Larry Rosen. I live in the East Bay in Oakland, east of San Francisco, and I am a mediator. I help people who have legal issue to resolve and a personal relationship which they are trying to preserve or not destroy through their resolution of their legal issue. I, I would say that empathy is the ability of one person to experience or put themselves in the body of another person um, and uh, the impact that that has on them when they do so. I think that, that until you can imagine yourself in their place, it's hard to feel what they're feeling. But I don't know that you have to go through a conscious process of actually picturing me as you. Um, but if you are imagining what they're feeling, you're likely picturing yourself in their place, whether consciously or not. And that helps people basically take care of each other. It, with respect to what I do, Empathy is important because without it, it's very difficult for people to come to resolution in a way that meets both of their needs. So empathy is a tool through which resolution is found for two people who are seemingly at odds with each other. And, and how does that process work? What happens? Essentially, um, either because the people end up caring about each other or because strategically they understand that they're not going to get out of a mediation until both their needs are met, they try to come to some level of understanding of what the other person is experiencing. And so I try to lead them through that experience by distilling the other person's experiences into unmet needs and then translating those unmet needs in a way that would communicate it to the first person. And when they come to some understanding of the other person's unmet needs, because we all have the same human needs, and you can understand quite easily when it's translated into an unmet human need that you have yourself, people can understand the other person's experience quite well. It doesn't mean that they necessarily care about it, that they actually have empathy for it, but they get the intellectual piece first. And then through a process of deepening, uh, it gets to a level of empathy or compassion or some other word that you can use but where they actually understand it at a gut level and that they actually begin to care because they've experienced it themselves at some level the pain that the other person is experiencing in this interaction they experience it at some level they then begin to care at times they don't begin to care and they just view it as strategic. I need to understand it in order to help the other person find an, a solution to their needs, otherwise I'm not gonna get out of the situation. But more often than not, at some level, they begin to care. And so empathy is essentially a tool for resolution for me. Yeah, would, is it also a feeling? Uh, it produces feelings, I would say. I mean, a feeling is happiness, sadness, um, anxiety. The, these are feelings in, in my lexicon. And empathy is uh, if you empathize with somebody, you're, you're probably meeting your need to connect with them. Um, and, and it produces feelings of sadness or, or, um, or maybe happiness. Some, it, because either your own needs will be met or not, and then you'll get a whole host of feelings that result. I wouldn't regard empathy as, as a feeling. Other people might call it a feeling. So, yeah, that's one question I ask sometimes is, like, what does empathy feel like? If you expressed it as a felt experience in your body, you know, you say, okay, I'm feeling empathy now. What does empathy feel like? Well, then you'd, then you'd describe the feelings that are associated with that met need of empathy or unmet need of empathy. So that's the way I would describe it. And um, it depends what you're empathizing with, right? If, if you're empathizing with with um, someone who's going through a very, very challenging situation, you might experience their unmet needs, their, their, their unmet need for connection to others, or their unmet need for financial security. Or, so whatever these things in that person's life generates, the feelings that, that person's, in that person's life generates, you might get similar feelings. Anxiety, because you're not able to pay your bills. Um, uh, sadness because your wife left you. Whatever it is that the
person is experiencing, you might experience feelings as a result as well. Empathy could lead you to experience what they're experiencing.